Hey, this is Professor Perez again. Today, we're going to look at some techniques for doing addition problems. We're going to look at how some people add numbers on a number line. And we're also going to be uh, referring to our last video, which was on the commutative and associative properties for addition, which did point out that if you have numbers that are all being added together, you can add in any order you want. Okay? And that's how students develop what they call Kung Fu math techniques. That's right. Kung Fu math. So, of course, we've got to get Charlie up, make sure he's ready to go. Hey, Charlie, you ready to go? Yeah. You better be. All right, let's do our first problem right here, Charlie. Pay attention to this. Now, how do we add 8 plus 8? People approach this problem different ways. Here's one approach that was emailed to me. What they said is when they do 8 plus 8, okay, they start at 8. Now, what they do is they first add 10, because for some reason, 8 plus 10 usually comes to mind first. And 8 plus 10 is how much, Charlie? 18. 18. And then they said, well, I know I went too far. And how many units th did they go too far, Charlie? Two. Two. And so they come back to, and that gives us the result of 16. And that is 8 plus 8. Now, there's different ways of doing it. It all depends on how you think. Okay. There's only one answer though, 8 plus 8 is 16. Now some people start at 8 and then add 2 first, and then add 6 more, that'll give you 16. Or some people just memorize that 8 plus 8 is 16. It's up to you. Everybody has their own technique for doing addition problems. Okay. And so, let's do a problem now. Okay. 8 plus 10 subtract 2. That is the same problem that we just demonstrated, because 8 plus 10 is how much, Charlie? 18. 18, and when you take away 2, you do end up at 16. It's the same problem, so some people like to think that way. Okay, now, here's our next problem. 3 plus 6 plus 7 plus 4. Now, generally when you have addition problems, people like, some people like to work left to right. Okay? And that's our first approach for this problem. So first, we're going to work left to right. Okay? 3 plus 6 is what, Charlie? 9. 9, that's right, and now we have to bring 9, and we, now we have to add a 7 and a 4, right? Okay, now add 7, what do we get? 16. 16, okay, and we still have to add the 4, and what's 16 plus 4, Charlie? 20. That's 20. Very nice, Charlie. So that is our answer. But now, notice here, we have a 3 plus 6 plus 7 plus 4 to give us 20. Well, think about this, and you too, Charlie, especially you. See, if you take the 6, 7, and the 4, and you rearrange it any way you want on that number line, you're always going to end up at 20. Okay? So that is going to, if you try that, right, rearrange those, the 6, the 7, and the 4, you'll see you'll always end up at 20, which basically means you can add in any order you want. Okay? Now, let's look at a Kung Fu math technique, Charlie. Pay attention. Now, if all your numbers are being added, remember, you can add in any order you want. Okay? Once you have a subtraction in there, or a division, or a multiplication, you can't do this. Okay? You have to follow the order op of operations, which is coming up very soon, too. So, now when you look at this, people think, well, what two numbers do I want to add first? Well, Charlie, what two numbers are calling to each other saying, hey, add me first? 3 and the 7. The 3 and the 7, because 3 and 7 gives you how much, Charlie? 10. 10. Very nice. And the other two numbers are saying what, Charlie? Add me together. Add me together. 6 and 4 is 10. See, if we have those addition techniques developed, we can do this very quickly. And a person with good kung fu math techniques sees this problem as simply 10 plus 10, which is 20. It's the same problem we did right here, right? But we added in, a diff in different orders, which we can do. Okay, here's another problem, Charlie. 2 plus 7 plus 3 plus 8. What two numbers are saying, hey, add me first? 2 and the 8. The 2 and the 8, very nice, which is 10. And the other two are what? 7 and 3. 7 and 3, which gives you 10. And again, we end up at 20. There we go. That's some good kung fu. Okay, now here's a, a, a little bit longer problem, Charlie. Now don't get scared. 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 4 plus 5 plus 3. Okay. 
Now, remember, we're going to add in any order we want because they're all being added together. So, give me two numbers, Charlie. Five and the five. The five and the five, well, those add to ten. What else? Six and the four. Six and the four, well, those add to ten. And the seven and three. And the three add to ten. Very nice there, Charlie. And ten plus ten plus ten is... 30. 30. Very nice. Okay, now don't get scared. Let's step it up a bit. Here we go, Charlie. 15 plus 6 plus 7 plus 14 plus 5 plus 3. Whoosh. Okay, don't worry. Just bust out some kung fu. Here we go, Charlie. So, the 15. What number do you want to add to the 15 first, Charlie? The 5. The 5, because 15 and 5 is 20. 20. Very nice. So, let's look at that 6. We want to add the 6 to the what? 14. To the 14, because that gives you 20. 20. Very nice. And we have two numbers left. It's the what? 7 and the 3. 7 and the 3, which does give you 10. And now you're just adding these numbers together. What do we get, Charlie? 50. 50. Uh -huh. Very nice there, Charlie. Okay. Here we go. We got one more problem to do here. 11 plus 3 plus 4 plus 13 plus 8 plus 3. Whew. Now, all problems aren't this easy where they all add up to 10. So, just relax and just work in steps. Okay, here we go, Charlie. So, think of some numbers that we want to add together. Now, we don't have to necessarily only add two numbers together. We could add three numbers together or we could add four, depending on how many numbers you have. Now, watch this, Charlie. I'm going to help you out here. Notice we have a 3 and a 4. I'm going to start with a 3 and a 4 because 3 plus 4 is 7. And notice at the end over there, I have a 3. And what is 3 plus 4 plus 3, Charlie? 10. It ends up being 10. Now, some people see it as 3 plus 4 is 7, plus 3 more is 10. Or they see the 3 plus the 3 is 6, plus the 4 is 10. Any way you look at it, those three numbers together will give me a 10. Okay. Now, I have left over 11, a 13, and a 8, okay? Well, here's one technique. Again, there's other techniques of doing this. I'm going to add the 11 and the 8 because that gives me almost 20, but it gives me 19, okay? Right? All right. Now, what number do I have left over, Charlie? 13. The 13, so we've got to bring that down. So now I've broken down the problem to 10 plus 19 plus 13. Now... I can add in any order I want. So what I'm going to do here, okay, I have a 10. I'm going to first add the 13, and then I'm going to add the 19. Now, this is just my kung fu. You have your own kung fu that you can develop. We're all going to get the same answer, though. So watch. Let's bring this problem home now. Notice I have 10 plus 13, which is how much, Charlie? 23. 23, right. Well, why is 10 plus 13 23? Well, some people think, hey, that's 10 plus 10 plus 3. If you're doing that, what you're actually thinking about is the expanded form of the number. So that's what we're going to do. Watch. I have a 10. I'm going to add 10 and a 3. Now, the 10 and the 3 is 13 in expanded form. I'm going to do the same thing with a 19. I'm going to break it up into extend, expanded form, which is 10 plus 9. And now, since I can add in any order I want, I see immediately that I have three 10s. Now, what's 10 plus 10 plus 10, Charlie? 30. 30, very nice. And with a 3 plus 9 gives us what? 12. 12. And what's 30 plus 12? 42. 42. Very nice there, Charlie. That's one kung fu technique. Now, you need to develop your own. Again, there's no right or wrong way of doing these addition problems, but there is only one answer. So, as long as you get there, you're fine. Anyway, whew, we got to move on now to our next topics, which are going to be subtraction, multiplication, division, all kinds of other stuff. Anyway, we'll see you all again soon. Hoo-ah!